Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Anna Chris, your automotive advisor in the sales department at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, of course. And this video is for those that just purchased their awesome 2022 Honda Civic EX. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to customize all of your vehicle settings so when you arrive at the dealership to pick up your new car, congratulations, by the way, you know how to set everything up exactly the way you want. So all you have to do is drive it off the lot and show it out to your friends and family, okay? Now, if you guys have, ever have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions. Now, for those who are in the market too as well, right over here is my contact information, all right? Don't hesitate to give me a call. I'll show you how easy it is to join the crazy Honda Chris family here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, all right? Now, let's go show you how to customize all your vehicle settings right now for you. All right, so here we are right inside the Honda Civic. It's on and it's running. I just want to show you guys the basic controls before we get started, all right? Now, everything we're going to be looking at is going to be over here on the left-hand side of the driver's interface. Now, to kind of navigate through that driver's interface, we got this little wheel. See that? It scrolls up and down as you're doing that. Guess what? Yep, you put it together. Now, right over here, we're going to have the home menu. So, let's say we have something selected right uh, maintenance perfect you can hit the home menu button and it takes you right back all right now let's come over here to the driver's interface a little more and then we're going to go down to settings this is going to pop up scroll down first thing is going to pop up is going to be a tire pressure monitoring system calibration you have an indirect tire pressure system so when that light goes off it's telling you to get out there and double check your tire and address if you need to address it now we're going to select that we're going to come down to calibrate and boom we just reset that tire pressure light then we're going to scroll down. Now we're going to have driver's assist system set up. This is for all of your safety features, right? You got your forward collision. You can set the distance between you and the car in front of you before it warns you with those three stages, all right? Do you want long, normal, or short? I would encourage you to uh, refer to your owner's manual to know the exact distance, but American Honda set it to normal, so I'm going to keep it on normal, all right? Next thing you're going to have is your ACCs, your adaptive cruise control forward vehicle detection beep. So simply when you have your adaptive cruise control on, it's going to let you know when it finds a car it's gonna beep at you okay so yeah let's do it i like to have everything on so when we take it out for a test drive we know exactly all the bells and whistles experience what you like and you don't like you got your road departure right here you can change the sensitivity on that as it kind of brings you back so you got uh you got wide you got normal you, you, narrow or you can have that off it won't bring you back and turn it to warning only so it just warns you okay Gonna hit the uh, oops narrow button apparently. We'll go back and fix that later. We got your lane keeping assist, the spin beep. So when you drive your lane a little bit, right, as it brings you back or warns you, do you want it to beep at you, or you just want the visual? Hey, I want it to beep at me. Let's turn on all the beeps. As you guys are doing this, once again, there's no right or wrong answers. Whatever works best for you and your family. Okay. Now we're gonna have the blind spot information system. That's gonna be those little cool little indicators over there on the mirror. 95% of my customers like to keep this on and keep it on this setting. So when someone's in your blind spot, that lights up. The only time it talks back to you is when you're driving and you have your turning indicator on and someone's in your blind spot, okay? So we're going to keep it on that. If you want to adjust it, you can have his visual alert or that's it. Traffic sign. Recognization, so simply on or off. Since so you're driving down the road, it's gonna have the speed limit sign right up here where my finger is at. So it finds a 35, perfect, 35. Finds 95, boom, 95. I'm sure you won't find a 95 out there, but you, you get what I'm putting down. Mm -hmm. We're gonna scroll right back down here. Gate traffic sign, recognition system, exceeding speed limit warning. So simply, do you want it to tell you when you're exceeding the speed limit? I found a speed limit here, Crazy Hunter Chris. It says 42 and you're going 45, you know, so it's going to flash and it's going to warn you. So yeah, let's do that. My wife's always telling me I speed anyway, so let's make sure I get that in check. We'll come right down here to speed limit warning threshold. So now I don't have that Lucy over there. My middle child telling me, Dad, you're going three over. I'll, I can have this set. So let's say I find a speed limit, 45. I'm going 48. Now it's going to warn me. Or five or 10 miles per hour swing. Which of these are going to work best for you? Driver's attention right here. That's off. I'm going to turn this on. The car is going to have a way to let you know that your driving habits are not so good right now. You need to pull over and take a break. 
So most of the times you guys won't experience this, but in the case, if I do need to pull over, I want the card to do everything in its power to alert me for safety. So there we go. I'm gonna select that. Scroll right back up. Now that's everything underneath driver's assist system. We got your meter set up. Let's select that. You got your languages. I'm gonna keep it on the one that I already know, English. You got your outside temperature gauge. It's gonna be right down here. You can fine tune that with a five degree swing Fahrenheit. You got trip A and trip B. When do you want that to reset? Or how? When you shot the car, when you refuel, get a full tank of gas, or just do it yourself. Trip B is going to be the same thing. You got your alarm right here. So this would be like how loud your buzzer is going off, turning indicators, as you can hear the sound, etc. When you like the little honk, stuff like that. As you know, hit lock and stuff. Um, low, mid, high. Fuel efficiency backlight, simply that's an on or off feature. So you'll see all my tips and trick video right up there. Now, pretty much you're gonna have a bar that's gonna come right up here green when you're being fuel efficient, then it's gonna go away or turn white when you're not being fuel efficient, all right? As a visual coaching, let's level up our fuel efficiency game. So let's keep it on there. And then we got your rear seat reminder, simply on or off. So when the back door opens up, Right, we get to wherever we're going, we shop the car, and then it's gonna say, hey, check your rear seat. You want that on or off? It's one of those little features that we always forget to share at the uh, dealership. Now we have your speed and distance. Those two options. You got a tachometer. Simply have that on at all times, no matter what you have up here or have it off. So you have to be at the tachometer screen. I'm gonna keep it on. I like the cosmetics of that having it on there. Makes me feel kind of cool. All right, and that's it. We're gonna back right up here. And then we're gonna come down to keyless access setup. So first thing that's gonna pop right up, this is once again, we have the keys in our pocket, okay? We gave you door unlock mode. So I walk out here, I put my hand in the handle, right? and it's raining. Poor uh, Zoe over there, my oldest is with me. Do I want the driver's side door to open automatically or all doors, you know? So a lot of times the uh, kids don't tag along with me, so I'm gonna keep it on the driver's side door only. If they do, I just had unlock on the key fob, you know what I mean? Now, next thing we're gonna have pop up is gonna be your door unlock mode. Let's like that. Oh, we just did that one, I'm sorry. I got distracted with a car driving by. We have your keyless access light flash. So when you put your hand in the handle, there's gonna be a delay. So no, no one's putting their hand in the handle and yanking it right away. My five-year-old son does a lot. Good job, Cameron. So he's trained now to wait to see the lights flash or hear the beep. Now to hear the beep is the next option. Right here, beep. He's like, oh, it beeps, dad, time to get in. And then there we go. You can turn that on or off. You got your remote start. This is straight from the key fob. So do you want to, uh, you know, the key fob? That's everything from right there. Then we're gonna scroll right down here to your lighting setup. Auto high beams, you want those on or off? Keep them on. Interior light dimming time. I shot the car, get out of the car, and X amount of time the lights will turn off. Interior. Headlights, auto timer. I shot the car, right? Take the key fob with me, shut the door. X amount of times your headlights will turn off. Three options, 60, 30, and 15. And uh, there's a fourth, a zero. Auto light sensitivity. So simply with your headlights on auto, right? 
Um, how soon do you want your lights to turn on or off between your day and nighttime levels? I'm gonna keep it on mid. Auto on, uh, headlights with wipers on. So I got my lights on auto. All right, you guys can see it right there. I turn on my wipers, boom, headlights automatically come on. Turn that on or off. That's everything from there. And then we're gonna scroll all the way back down to door setup. So we just got in the car. When do you want your doors to lock? With speed, when you shift from park, or have it off? Which of those are gonna work best for you? Now, we just got here to the dealership. When do you want your doors to unlock? All doors, when driver opens up door, when you shift to park, or when you turn off the car? or have that feature off and you just simply hit the button on the door. You got your key and remote unlock. So we got the key fob here with us, right? So as we have the key fob with you and you hit unlock, right? Hit it once. When do you want your driver's side door to unlock? Or sorry, do you want just your driver's side door to unlock or all doors, all right? Now keep in mind, a lot of times people keep it on driver's side door only because when you double tap unlock twice, all doors automatically unlock, all right? A lot of stuff in here. As we scroll down here, we got your walkway auto lock feature, right? I'm gonna turn this bad boy on. So when I get to running errands, I get out of the car, take the key fob with me, 10 feet away, boom, all doors automatically lock. Only bad thing I can think about this, let's say if I like to pretend that I'm playing around in the garage, I get the key fob inside the house, I have to go inside to get that key fob, all right? So the doors will lock, unlock for me. I can get in and out. Then we have your keyless lock back. There we go. You just want to answer back to you, have the little beep. Yes, let's do it. So when I hit the lock button or the car locks, it will reply to me. You got your power window controls right here. So you know sometimes with a cool little trick, you actually hit lock, lock, and hold it down the third time. Sorry, unlock, as you guys clearly can see, I'm hitting unlock, so hit unlock and hold it the third time, right? It rolls down the windows. Well, if you want to turn that feature off, this is it right here, all right? So there it is. Last thing right here in this setting is going to be a lockout prevention. If you want that on or off, check out my other video right up here. It takes a little more in depth about that. And then from there, we're going to have your maintenance. If you ever need to reset the oil change, stuff like that, other services, that may be required to the vehicle, it's all gonna be right here so you can reset. All right, so I want to go over a couple courtesy stuff here for you guys for radio stuff like that here. So you got a radio button right there. You got between AM and FM, as you can clearly see. You can save your radio station, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is find one that you like. You got your tuner and everything right here. And so you find what you like, you click and hold. And beeps at you. Boom, it's saved, all right? Now, you can also adjust the brightness of the screen if it bugs you, just to let you know it's a combo deal. So it's your driver's interface and your test screen. It's all together. All you have to do is come right over here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, and then you scroll this down, right? You can see the brightness of everything adjusting. Yeah, it's flashing just because my phone can't keep up with the refresh rate, but see that? There it is, okay? Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video. Hopefully it was very helpful to answer those questions for you guys. But once again, if I didn't answer all those questions, you have one, drop it down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. And congratulations on your new Honda Civic. I'm excited. I can't wait to hear how you put this vehicle to the test. Okay guys, I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye bye.